Hello, my beautiful Easy Yoga kids. It's your friend Miss Shelley coming from you, coming to you from the safety of my own home, and I'm sure you're in the safety of your own home too. Well, let's get started. We have a lot to do today, so let's get started. We're going to start like we usually start in our mindful bodies. So, crisscross yoga sauce. All right, keep your spine straight and in line, or you will be grumpy all the time. Also, remember to open our heart. Our hearts have a light of peace and love in them. So, let's really open our hearts and make that light shine. We're going to start with our own breath. That's where we take a big inhale and exhale. Oh, are we ready? Hi, Miss Beth. Okay. So rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh, rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh, rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh, very good. Now, this is a very important week for the earth. Tomorrow is a very special day. Tomorrow is Earth Day. That's where we talk about taking care of the Earth. But I'm going to make a promise to myself, and you can make the same promise to yourself too. Say, I will take care of the Earth every day. Yes, we will take care of the Earth every day. Hello, Quinn and Charlotte. Oh, you are becoming my loyal yogis. Oh, when I see you guys, I'm going to give you a big, big hug. All right, let's continue. So to start our Earth Day celebration, we're going to do something called a plug into the Earth Mudra. And we're going to say, we're going to give our peace breath. So can you hold up two fingers like this? This is a mudra for peace, a mudra it's like a yoga pose you do with your hands. So touch your fingers into the ground. We're going to take a big inhale and we're going to say peace on the exhale. Here we go. Peace. 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 Yes, peace on earth is very important we all know that so it wouldn't be a proper earth day celebration if we didn't do our sun dance because the sun gives so much power and energy to the earth and to us we are grateful for the sun so we're going to get rid of all our all the crabby feelings in our body and celebrate the sun by doing the sun dance okay can you make your feet really strong and tall in mountain pose it's strong into the ground i'm going to turn to the side but you don't have to be strong into the ground slow big inhale up this is where we say sunrise exhale down and say sunset and put your hands into the earth walk your feet back this is where we say go to bed Come onto your belly, go to sleep. Inhale up, wake up, curl your toes, get up and walk into a brand new day. Cha cha cha. Two more times. Strong and tall and out. Sunrise, sunset. Go to bed, go to sleep. Wake up get up and walk into a brand new day cha 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 
One more. Sunrise. Oh, sunset. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Wake up. Get up. And walk into a brand new day. Cha-cha-cha. So today, I'm going to read from my favorite book. This is The Earth Book by Todd Parr. Hello, Carol. So nice to see you. All right. This is the book I'm going to read from. This is The Earth Book by Todd Parr. We're going to read it, and we're going to act out the poses. So... Let's start. I take care of the earth every day because I know I can do little things to make a big difference. Yes, you can. You can do little things to make a big difference. I use both sides of the paper. So when you're coloring or drawing a picture, Draw on one side, and then flip it over and draw on the other side. I bring my own bags to the farmer's market because I love the trees. All right, you got it. We're going to do tree pose. Strong and tall and mountain pose. Relax your shoulders, open your heart. Can you make your belly strong, but still be able to feel your breath? Remember, you can be a low-hanging tree or a high-hanging tree. Other side, low-hanging tree or high-hanging tree. The tree is a balanced pose. I want the owls to have a place to live. Yes, many things, many creatures live in the trees. The owls is one of them. So let's do our owl pose. Can you come down on your knees like this? And I'm gonna take my arms behind my back. See how my arms, one hand is grabbing, grabbing the opposite elbow. All right. Now, owls can really turn their neck. They can turn their neck almost completely around. So take a big inhale. Turn your neck to one side and say, ooh, back to center. Ooh, back to center. Ooh, back to center. Ooh, ooh. 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 Ooh, ooh, good owls. Also, I want to show you this. The trees make homes for the birds. Now, if you see a baby bird's nest, I know it looks so cute. You just want to go and touch it, but don't touch it. The mommy bird doesn't like when you touch her bird's nest. So just look at it. You can take a picture of it, but don't touch it. Okay, when brushing your teeth, I turn off the faucet while I brush my teeth. Okay, so let's turn the faucet on. We're gonna brush our teeth. Turn the faucet on. Get your toothbrush and toothpaste. Wet your toothbrush. Turn the faucet off. Now, we're gonna make a noise like this. To pretend we're brushing our teeth. Are you ready? Here's your toothbrush. Inhale. Yes, you brush your teeth. Oh, Francesca, hello. Hello, Francesca. Okay. Now let's wash our hands. Let's wash our hands really good because and we're going to wash in between our fingers. So let's turn the faucet on, lather up. Now turn the faucet off, we wanna save water and just lather up your hands 
I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. Very good. Now we're going to get really good in between our fingers. So hold up one hand. Take your pointer finger from your opposite hand. Then slowly inhale up to the top of your thumb and exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Look at your hand while you're doing this. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Pinky finger. Inhale up and exhale down. Now, let's do it to our other hand. Okay. Point your finger. Touch it to your thumb. Inhale up. Oops. Inhale up. Exhale down. 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 Very good. Now you can turn the faucet on again and rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. And then make sure you turn the faucet off to save some water. Also, we could use less water in our bath. Because we love the fish and we want to keep the oceans blue. Look at that beautiful ocean. Okay, we're going to do fish pose and whale pose later on, maybe on Thursday. Today, we're going to do wave pose. Do you know that water can also give us power and energy? It's called hydropower or water power. Look at the waves. All right, so let's do a wave pose. So come down onto your backs. Feet are on the floor. Feet are on the floor. All right, lie down. We're going to take a big inhale, and we're going to drop our legs to one side. Inhale. Exhale, drop your legs to one side. Inhale up, drop your legs to the other side. Again, inhale up, exhale down. Big waves crashing down by the ocean, down by the ocean. Big waves crashing. Oh, how I love to go down by the ocean, down by the ocean. Very good. Very good. I take the school bus. Yes, you can save energy and power by taking a school bus. Let's get in our bus pose. Look on your knees. Oops, let me get a little bit over here. Come on your knees. Put your hands on your knees. If you're sitting on your legs, hands are on your knees. On the inhale, we're going to pull our chest forward and really open our heart. And on the exhale, we're going to move backward and arch our back. So it's inhale forward, open your heart. Exhale, arch your back. We can say, the people on the bus go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. The people on the bus go forward and back all through the town. Another thing we can do is you can ride your bike. That'll save a lot of energy because we're using our own power to ride our bike. Are you ready to do our bike riding pose? Lie down on your back. Bring your knees into your chest. And we're going to circle one leg at a time. Just make a circle with each leg like you're riding a bike. And of course, let's sing our bike bicycling song. Hey, dum, deedly dum, I have a mom who is fun. 
he done deedly do. I have a mom who is cool. All right, bring your legs down and roll over and sit up. And let's see what we have next. Ah, I love the stars and I want the air to be clear so I can see the star sparkle. You guessed it, we're gonna do our star pose. So, make your feet wide, arms out, and let's really open our heart and really make that light of peace and love shine. So we're gonna go back and forward like this. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, feel the light in your heart. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Stand up tall, take a breath. <sighs> you are all stars. Okay. This little boy, he says, I try to eat every bite on my plate. Well, look, at he's eating a piece of pie. I want to eat a piece of pie. So a piece of pie is shaped like this. Can you bring your legs out wide? Inhale your arms up. And you can exhale them down to your toes or your ankle, wherever you're comfortable. Remember, it shouldn't hurt. So inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and now we're going to eat that pie. So just go munch, 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 munch. Exhale down, munch, 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 munch. Exhale, munch, munch, munch. Mm, that pie was good. Oh, and be sure to save all of your leftovers because... We love watching things grow, and I want there to be enough food for everyone. Yeah, so we love watching th things grow. Remember before we planted a tree? Well, here we can, be, we can be a tree if you want, or we can be a carrot, or a strawberry, or, what's, or broccoli, or even mushrooms. Okay. So let's plant our tree. She's using the watering can to give us water so we don't have to make rain. And we've got the sun shining. So let's come into our seed pose. Sit on your knees or on your legs. Big inhale up, exhale, bring your forehead down to the floor. Seed pose, inhale, exhale. We're just little seeds in the ground waiting to grow up. All right. Slowly come up into table pose. Can you curl your toes? Slowly lift your tail and then walk your feet to your hands. Hey, look at me. I'm a tree. Or if you were a carrot, you can bring your arms up like this, carrot pose. Or if you were a strawberry, how about like this? I remember to turn off the lights when I leave the room. Well, sometimes when you go to turn off a light, it might be a little bit too high up for you to reach. So stand up. And you bring your arm up. Sometimes you even have to stand up on your tippy toes. Inhale up, really stretch, stretch, stretch. Turn off that light. Other side. Inhale up, up on your tippy toes. Really stretch, stretch, stretch. And turn off that light. Ah, and be sure to shut the refrigerator to save energy because we love the polar bears. All right, polar bear pose. It's like we're coming into seed pose or child's pose. So inhale up, inhale up, exhale down, 
head to the floor. Now, can you put, bring your opposite elbow or opposite hand to opposite elbow, elbows on the floor, and make your hands, just cover your nose with your hands. Polar bear. Can you see me? I'm covering my nose with my hands. Polar bear pose. Polar bear pose. Nice job. Oh, also, we want the snowman to stay cool. Here's the snow. Oh, here's the snowman. Wrong one. Snowman. I can't get it. The Shelly. Snowman. <laughs> All right, so let's do our snowman pose. Can you bring your heels together and then bend your knees? And then inhale your arms up to make the top of the snowman. Snowman pose. Who was that? Who was the snowman in Frozen? What did he say? I know he said, I love big hugs. Let's do that again. I love big hugs. Whoops. I think his name was Olaf. I'm sure you will let me know if I'm wrong. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, it's almost time to go. Oh, oh very important. I throw garbage in the trash can. Yes. And I recycle glass, aluminum, and paper, and plastic. So recycle means to put um, certain things in a certain trash bin. Like this is, this is for paper. She's putting paper in that trash bin. He's putting plastic in that trash bin. And he's putting glass in that trash, pan, tr trash can. It's called recycle. So we want to reduce the number of uh, trash we make. We make that means make less trash. We want to reuse it. So reuse means if we have a toy or a book that we're finished playing with, or we don't want to read anymore, we can ask our moms if we can give it to someone else to reuse it. And then recycle is to throw it into the right trash can. So can you pat your hands on your knees like this? Reduce. Clap your hands. Reuse. Arms up. Recycle. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Those are the three R's. We have to remember them. Oh. I love to walk barefoot in the grass. Just think about summer. We can walk our feet in the grass. Feel the warm earth on your feet. Look at this is a windmill. A windmill gives us wind power or wind energy. So let's do windmill pose. Spread your legs wide, arms up. Can you inhale? Now take one hand and bring it to your opposite foot. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice job. Oh, because we don't want to move to Mars if we don't take care of the Earth. We don't want to have to move to Mars. Most of all, I help take care of the earth because I want, I want us all to be happy and healthy. Every one of us can help protect the earth and make it feel good. Remember, if we take care of the earth, it will take care of us. Yes. You must take care of the earth. So look at this picture. Just imagine all the people in the, on the whole earth, all the animals and bugs, everybody, just everybody, people, animals, bugs, everything, even the teeniest, tiniest bug. 
And we're going to hold our hands in a mudra. Remember, a mudra is a yoga pose for hands. So we're going to take, take each finger and tap, touch it to the opposite finger. So make each finger touch, and it looks like this. This is whole earth mudra. And we're going to sing a song. It's, it's going to sound funny because it's not in English. It's in Sanskrit, which is a yoga language. And it goes like this. Loka, samasta, sukino, babantu. Loka, samasta, sukino, babantu. Now, you don't have to say it perfectly, but what it means in English, it means may all living things be happy and free. Now, if you want, while we're doing it, you can close your eyes or look down or look right into your whole earth mudra. One minute. Are you ready? Loka, samasta, suki no. Babantu. Loka, Samasta, Suki no, Babantu. Loka, Samasta, Suki no, Babantu. Loka, Samasta, Suki no, Babantu. Loka, Samasta. Suki no, Babantu. Loka, Samasa. Suki no, Babantu. Excellent. Excellent. That means may all living beings be happy and free. Now it's time for our relaxation. So can you lie down? Get what you need for relaxation. I'm going to use my turtle. You can use a bean bag or a stuffy, or even you can just place your hand on your belly. So lie down and really feel the earth beneath you. Can you feel it? Just get yourself all snuggled into the earth. We're going to put our bean bags on our belly and pretend, pretend the ocean is in our belly. So we're going to inhale up, our belly comes up, and exhale down, just like the ocean is in your belly. Close your eyes and imagine your belly is full of water like the ocean. Inhale, let the waves rise in your belly. Exhale, let them fall. Inhale, let the waves gently rise. And exhale, let the waves fall. Inhale, the waves rise. And exhale, the waves fall. Take some calming ocean breaths in and out at your own pace. You can even imagine your belly is filled with water, blue water like the ocean. Inhale, the waves gently go up. And exhale, the waves gently go down. Just a little more. Inhaling. 
and exhaling. May there be peace in your home, and may there be peace in the whole world. And who does peace begin with? It begins with you and me. So you can say, peace begins with me, peace begins with me. That is where peace begins. Peace begins with me. Thank you very much, my dear Ease Yoga kids. On Thursday, we're going to talk about Earth Day again. So nice to see you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Namaste.